Hey, how are you doing guys? Today I'm going to make a video about some of the applications that I really enjoy on Mac Snow Leopard. Um, and I just think that these applications are very useful and that pretty much anybody can benefit from them. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start out with App Cleaner. Um, and what App Cleaner does, basically you can dra drag any application here and it will install uninstall any files that goes along with the application. Uh, whether it be hidden files, whatever, it, uninst it finds and uninstalls all of them. It goes the same with uh, widgets and uh, other things. And it, it just makes this really easy user interface. And that's the basics of that. And so that, that's, that's mainly why I like it. Um, so on with the next one. We got Geek or Cover Scout 3. Now, Cover Scout 3 is probably by far one of my favorite out of all the applications because it, find, it is a really easy user interface that allows you to find the album covers for every one of uh, every album in your iTunes library. And it will just load up your iTunes library in the sidebar right here. And any, um, a any album that doesn't have a cover, it will assist you in finding it or you can just drag and drop them to the screen and it will add them to for you and it just makes it really easy and in my opinion I really don't like not having albums I'm kinda of picky that way but um, it really just it helps me <laughs> that's the best way to put it so for Geekbench now Geekbench I don't use all that often but I like kind of ha knowing exactly where my computer's at um, based on other computers and basically it's just a benchmark tester uh, to compare your computer to others you just hit run benchmark and it will run in 32-bit mode for free or you can pay for a 64-bit mode and it will uh, rank your computer with the Geekbench score and it will break it down into all these different parts and it will compare them to all a bunch of different computers and uh, that's and you can also you can submit it to the actual Geekbench like website, and that's why I like that. Um, moving on, I got Grand Perspective. This has been a lifesaver for me. My computer is starting to run out of space, so I'm I'm gonna need an upgrade pretty soon. But um, until then, I've been using this to find all the major files that are taking up space on my computer. Oh, uh, all the major files that are taking up space on my computer. And uh, see all this right here, all these red ones, that's all my Call of Duty captures because I started doing that and I've done it a lot and I really need to stop because it's taking up all my computer and I got um, my mom and dad's wedding capture, which is, I, I, I just deleted that actually because it was taking up way too much space. But this has saved my butt a lot of times because I, I'm start, I, I only have a 250 gigabyte hard drive and it, it fills up quick. And this is a really easy way to clean it up and get rid of those big files that you really you don't need. After that, we got Handbrake, and I'm sure many of you know about Handbrake, but you can basically convert any type of video file in, uh, into anything you need if you want. And it it makes it really easy. They got these presets over here, and you can convert them for an iPod Touch or an iPhone, any iPod or the Apple TV. It just makes it really easy to convert um, any kind of video format to something that you can view on um, devices that require sp specific formats. And this also runs in 64 in 64 bit mode which speeds it up quite a bit. Hulu de Desktop, this this is really awesome. I love watching TV from my computer. I got this great iMac screen that shows everything perfectly clear and uh, watching uh, the Hulu with Hulu Desktop makes it awesome. I can watch practically every episode, every new episode of House, and I've been able to watch Saturday Night Live and all these other shows, and it makes this really easy to use uh, interface that, uh, I, in my opinion, is way better than just watching it on TV. So that's why I like the Hulu desktop. Cyberduck, Cyberduck's a program that I use to connect my iTouch through an uh, to my computer through an SFTP server and it just makes it really easy. It's a free program and that's the main reason why I use it because I'm cheap that way. I don't like paying for my programs so I usually try finding all the free stuff first and this was one of them that I came across. 
and it, it works perfectly fine. It, it's updated really often. J Bidwatcher. All right, this has saved me so much money. I've used this. I this program allows you to snipe, um, snipe bid or snipe auction. Yeah, snipe auctions on eBay, so you can get the lowest price possible. And so basically, you you plug in a, a bid number here or a, an auction ID number here, and you can place your maximum bid. And within like five seconds of the, the auction ending, it will bid for you automatically, so you don't have to do anything. You don't have to be there. And uh, I've saved over probably two hundred dollars by using this, and I've only done five auctions or so. So it, it's really been awesome. Fi uh, finally, I have M MPEG Stream Clip, and you can drag any MPEG file here and edit them right there. Uh, you can split clips. You can do a whole lot of things with the MPEG files, which normally you can't edit that well. So that's my basic overview of these programs: App Cleaner, Cover Scout 3, Geekbench, Grand Perspective, Handbrake, Hulu Desktop, Cyberduck, and J Bidwatcher and MPEG Stream Clip. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy you you've enjoyed this video. Um, and maybe even try to learn some of these programs that you can try and use. Thanks for watching. Bye.